After 25 years on the air, Judy Scheindlin's hit series Judge Judy came to an end in May 2021. That November, she launched a new show, Judy Justice, on Freevee, Amazon's free premium streaming service, with new episodes airing every weekday. Many fans believe that the name is not the only thing that has changed about Judge Judy, but little else has changed. However, her new TV show aside, what else has been going on for Judge Judy? Keep watching to find out. We're used to seeing Judge Judy rocking her signature bob hairstyle, so when she unveiled a small clip-in ponytail at the nape of her neck in April 2019, some fans weren't too thrilled. Sheindlin clarified that, after spending decades on screen, she decided to give her hair a break from the usual styling routine. It's a way for her to have more time for the things she enjoys, all for the modest cost of $29.95. Interestingly, some fans noticed a resemblance between Shandlin's new look and another judiciary legend, Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Personally, I and others spent a considerable amount of time making my hair look terrific. However, I realized that opting for a simpler hairstyle would save me time, just 10 minutes instead of the usual 40. I thought, just let it go, girl. People will get used to it, and maybe it'll be the start of a new adventure. With this fresh hairstyle, Shandlin undeniably exudes a different vibe, effortlessly blending chic and sophistication. It sparks contemplation about the transformative power of a ponytail, showcasing how a simple change can redefine one's appearance without the need for extensive effort, especially as she entered the spotlight all those years ago. Judge Judy, initially a retired family court judge presiding over televised cases, has undergone significant transformations in her career and personal life. Beyond her remarkable television presence, her qualifications have evolved, and she now holds an honorary Doctor of Law degree from both Elizabethtown College and the University of Albany SUNY. If you encounter her in person, the proper address is Dr. Judy Shaneland. Delving into her personal life, Judy Scheindlin's family has experienced changes and resilience over the years. Judy Shandlin's first marriage to Ronald Levy in 1964 marked the beginning of a tumultuous journey. The union bore two children, daughter Jamie and son Mark, prompting Judy to temporarily set aside her burgeoning legal career to embrace the role of a stay-at-home mom. However, as Judy decided to re-enter the workforce, a strain emerged in her marriage. Ronald's lack of support and perception of Judy's job as a mere hobby led to resentment. This eventually culminated in their divorce. Subsequently, Judy crossed paths with defense attorney Jerry Schindlin in 1976, but their initial connection faced hurdles. Jerry was still legally married to his then-wife, despite years of separation. Judy, a New York prosecutor at the time, was unimpressed by his reluctance to finalize the divorce. In a bold move, Judy instructed Jerry not to contact her until he had filed for divorce. Jerry, however, proposed the idea of living together, prompting Judy to issue an ultimatum. She insisted that he choose a date for the divorce, illustrating her unwavering determination. Their union in 1977 marked a new chapter, with Judy embracing the role of stepmother to Jerry's three children from a previous relationship. The marriage faced a pivotal test in 1990 when Judy's father, Murray, her self-proclaimed champion, passed away. Amidst grief, Judy confronted a challenge. Jerry struggled to provide the emotional support she needed. In a moment of role reversal, Judy implored Jerry to care for her, but he found the task unfamiliar. The strain reached a breaking point, and Judy issued an ultimatum, expressing the need for change in their relationship dynamics. Jerry, bewildered by the vague request, sought clarification on how to fulfill her request. During the documentary What Makes a Marriage Last, Jerry recounted the pivotal conversation. She said, Unless you change, we can't stay together. I said, tell me what you want me to do. You can't just say, take care of me. What does that mean? 
Judy then threatened divorce, to which Jerry responded with a daring challenge. The papers were served the next day, initiating a year-long separation. However, fate intervened, and the couple rekindled their romance. Judy admitted missing Jerry, acknowledging the differences in expectations between men of that generation and recognizing the need for acceptance. Their second marriage, prompted by Jerry's insistence on a quick wedding, symbolized a renewed commitment. With a spontaneous trip to the clerk's office and the involvement of a New York Supreme Court justice friend, they swiftly obtained a marriage license and tied the knot at the courthouse. Fast forward to the present, and Judy and Jerry are poised to celebrate an impressive 45 years of marriage. Despite their busy lives, including Judy's role in hosting Justice Judy on Freebie, the couple continues to prioritize each other and their blended family. Judy Scheindlin's family extends beyond her marital ties, encompassing three stepchildren from her union with Jerry Scheindlin, Gregory, Jonathan, and Nicole. This blended family also includes the joy of 13 grandchildren, creating a rich and interconnected family tapestry. Jonathan, one of her stepchildren, has pursued a career as a retinal surgeon, contributing to the family's diverse professional landscape. Meanwhile, Greg and Nicole have chosen the legal path, with Nicole even co-creating the Her Honor Mentoring Program alongside her stepmother. Judge Judy Networth How much she has made on her show, and how did she spend it? Judy Scheindlin has not only established herself as a prominent figure in the legal world, but has also amassed an impressive net worth of $480 million through her illustrious television career. Renowned for her no-nonsense approach and stern legal counsel, Judge Judy has earned the distinction of being the highest-paid woman on U.S. television. Judge Judy Scheindlin's illustrious career in the legal world began in 1972 when she embarked on her journey as a lawyer. Hailing from Brooklyn, she initially prosecuted cases related to domestic violence and juvenile crime in New York's family court. Her dedication and legal acumen propelled her career, leading to her appointment as a judge in 1982 and subsequently as a supervising judge in 1986. Judge Judy's journey to financial success traces back to a pivotal moment in 1993 when an article featuring her appeared in the L.A. Times. This media exposure was followed by a segment on the acclaimed news program, 60 Minutes. Seizing the momentum, Judge Judy secured a book deal with HarperCollins, resulting in the publication of her book, Don't Pee on My Leg and Tell Me It's Raining. The book garnered significant attention and success, selling nearly 217,000 copies. The turning point in her career came when talent scouts Kay Switzer and Sandy Spreckman recognized the potential for a television series featuring Judge Judy. In 1995, she was offered the opportunity to preside over her own courtroom series. Reflecting on those early days, Sheindlin recalled modest aspirations, hoping for a three- or four-year run that would afford her and her husband a retirement place in Florida. However, Judge Judy defied expectations, hosting the show for an impressive 25 seasons. This longevity made it one of the longest-running judge shows in the history of television. The syndication of the show, even after its conclusion, continues to contribute significantly to Judge Judy's net worth. The success of Judge Judy surpassed all expectations. In the early seasons, Scheindlin engaged in serious salary negotiations as the show gained popularity. With rising ratings, she boldly demanded paydays that matched the show's success. In negotiations with CBS executives, she asserted her value, stating, We should be partners. I can do this program without you. Good luck. You can't do it without me. This negotiating prowess resulted in annual earnings that soared to a reported $47 million, establishing her as one of the highest-paid individuals in the television industry. Shandlin's pragmatic advice on negotiating for better pay reflects her straightforward approach to both the courtroom and business.
Her counsel is rooted in the idea of making oneself indispensable, emphasizing the importance of creating leverage before making reasonable demands. Schindlin's negotiation tactics included slipping sealed envelopes with dollar figures across the table. Notably, her contract was structured to allow her to work just 52 days each year, with each tapping day featuring an impressive 10 to 12 cases. This efficient schedule translated to approximately $900,000 per week. In 2015, Judge Judy earned a place in the Guinness World Records as the longest-serving judge in TV history, marking a milestone in her illustrious career. Following the conclusion of her iconic Judge Judy series in 2021, she seamlessly transitioned to a new show titled Judy Justice, now airing on IMDb TV. This move ensured a continuation of her financial success and sustained her influential presence in the television landscape. Beyond her television earnings, Judge Judy has demonstrated a keen eye for investments and a penchant for luxurious properties. Her real estate portfolio boasts an $11 million penthouse and an adjacent mansion in Naples, Florida, along with a $13.2 million nine-bedroom manor in Greenwich, Connecticut. Further adding to her opulent lifestyle is a $10.7 million five-bedroom condo nestled within a gated community in Beverly Hills. In New York, she owns a duplex with four bedrooms on the Upper East Side. Facilitating her frequent travel between Los Angeles and New York, Judge Judy owns a private jet. Her commitment to quality representation is evident in her engagement with top-tier legal advisors. In the realm of personal indulgences, Judge Judy spares no expense when it comes to her 13 grandchildren, showering them with affection and lavish treats. Although the specifics of these indulgences remain private, they reflect her commitment to family and enjoyment of her hard-earned wealth. Additionally, Judge Judy has cultivated friendships with a roster of A-list celebrities, including Bette Midler, Amy Poehler, Samuel L. Jackson, and RuPaul. These connections often translate into lavish dinners and experiences. The amazing story behind her, 480 million fortune. Judge Judy Scheindlin currently boasts an estimated net worth of $480 million as reported by Forbes. However, her journey to financial success had humble beginnings. In a November 2021 cover story with People, Scheindlin candidly shared her earlier struggles revealing, the majority of my life, I spent buying on the sale rack. I didn't bother going into Neyman Marcus, Bergdorf Goodman, and Saks out of Fifth Avenue, because I couldn't afford it. Fast forward to the present. Scheindlin's financial concerns are a thing of the past. Not long after the premiere of her new show, Judy Justice, she demonstrated her philanthropic spirit by donating $5 million for full scholarships. These scholarships, benefiting 10 women attending her alma mater, New York Law School, cover all tuition and book expenses. In addition, the recipients will be offered summer fellowships following their first year of law school. The success of Judy Justice has been nothing short of remarkable. In May 2023, the show received a well-deserved renewal for its second season and earned the distinction of being Freebie's top original program in terms of hours watched, as reported by Deadline. The inaugural season also clinched the 2022 Daytime Emmy for Outstanding Legal Courtroom Program. While Judge Judy Scheindlin has traditionally distanced herself from political affiliations, her stance took a turn in October 2019. Despite her previous preference not to be labeled by political terms and her assertion of being unaffiliated with any political party, she penned an op-ed that marked a departure from her usual political neutrality. In this op-ed, she openly endorsed Michael Bloomberg for president, even at a time when he had not officially announced his campaign. This unexpected endorsement was followed by a more public declaration of support in January 2020, as Judge Judy released an ad-backing Bloomberg. Subsequently, she actively engaged in campaigning alongside him. Her involvement in the political arena was a noteworthy departure from her previous stance of maintaining a distance from overt political endorsements.
In the ad, Judge Judy portrayed herself as someone who had realized the American dream, drawing parallels with Michael Bloomberg's own journey. Expressing gratitude for having a candidate to support, she highlighted Bloomberg's qualities as a manager and leader, emphasizing his governance with grace. The ad concluded with an optimistic note as she expressed hope for his occupancy at 1600 in 2021, playfully referring to him as Mike Blueberry. This foray into political endorsement and active campaigning reflected a unique chapter in Judge Judy's public persona. While known for her sharp legal insights and tough courtroom demeanor, her brief venture into the political realm showcased a different facet of her engagement with societal issues and political figures. Judy Shanelin, beyond her courtroom podium, has remained steadfast in her core values throughout the years. Despite the flashy aspects of her public life, Judge Judy retains a cool-headed demeanor and unwavering commitment to her principles. Recently, she shed light on the significance of continuing to engage in household chores, emphasizing the grounding effect it has on her. Even with the trappings of success surrounding her, Judge Judy's dedication to doing the right thing remains a defining aspect of her character. This commitment to ethical behavior is exemplified in her response to inquiries about the meaning of success. In her own words, she shared, I've always tried always to do the right thing. Her advice to her children and grandchildren reflects a pragmatic outlook on life, recognizing that doing the right thing doesn't guarantee a positive outcome given the complexities of the world. One notable illustration of her unwavering values comes to the forefront when she discusses the consequences of wrongdoing. When asked about success, she imparts a timeless lesson, emphasizing that the repercussions of unethical actions may not be immediate, but will eventually catch up. Her stern warning resonates as she asserts that if someone engages in wrongdoing, karma will eventually come into play. She underscores the idea that past misdeeds, whether to a colleague, girlfriend, boyfriend, or anyone else, will have consequences. Judge Judy's belief in the inevitability of facing the repercussions of one's actions serves as a moral compass in her life. Her candid words convey the importance of integrity and ethical conduct, even in the face of success and external pressures. Since the debut of her latest show, Judy Justice, viewers have not only witnessed a shift in the legal proceedings, but have also noticed significant changes in Judy Scheindlin's appearance. The overall ambiance and aesthetic of the show have taken on a new dimension, reflecting a departure from the familiar. This extends not only to Judy herself, but also to the dressing style of both Judy and Gord. The controversy primarily revolves around the departure from the traditional black robey, which many viewers had grown accustomed to and perhaps found more comfortable. Judy Sheindlin, however, has been unapologetically vocal in defending her choices. Explaining her rationale, she stated, we were starting a new adventure, and the color robe was important to me because it says this is new, this is fresh. The lace collar served me well for 25 years. I noticed the robe is different. First of all, I look better in a high collar. And I said, where is it written in the Torah that it has to be a black robe? This is a little more modern. This bold departure from convention has sparked discussions among fans, contrasting the contemporary approach with the conventional black robe, synonymous with courtroom decorum. Despite the divergence in opinions, Judy Scheindlin remains resolute in her pursuit of a fresh and modern direction. Working on Judge Judy was not without its challenges. Judy Scheindlin shared in a recent interview that she faced a startling and unexpected challenge during one of her live shows. The incident, which occurred in 2011, brought a moment of vulnerability to the seasoned TV judge, Judge Judy. In a candid revelation during an interview with Good Morning America, Judge Judy recounted the harrowing experience, disclosing her belief that she had suffered a mini-stroke on air. The incident unfolded as she addressed her audience, facing what she later identified as a transient ischemic attack, TIA. 
The 80-year-old star shared that viewers, who had been loyal to her for 15 years, sensed something was amiss. Without directly probing, they took swift action, making a prudent decision to call paramedics. Describing the alarming episode, Judy mentioned that she began asking questions in a slowed-down manner, a clear indication that something was wrong. Producers, attuned to the nuances of her behavior, promptly summoned an ambulance. While initial concerns centered around the possibility of a mini-stroke, it turned out that Judge Judy was, in fact, fine. Reflecting on the incident, she remarked, Turned out to be I was fine. I'm not sure whether I had one of those TIA experiences. And they go away. Gratefully, Judge Judy has not encountered any further episodes and maintains good health. Addressing speculation about retirement from her illustrious TV career, she dismissed the idea, stating, I'm not tired. I don't play golf or tennis. I have no desire to learn how to play mahjong, chess, or checkers. I know what I like to do. Why, at my stage in life, would I try to find something else when I already know what I like? After a remarkable transition from broadcast television to Amazon Free V, formerly IMDb TV, the courtroom series quickly became a hit, earning a Daytime Emmy Award for its first season. The success story doesn't end there, as recent reports from Variety confirm a significant achievement. Judy Justice has secured a two-season renewal at Amazon Freebie. The streaming service has witnessed the show's resounding popularity, with Judy Justice maintaining its position as the number one original program, boasting an impressive 150 million hours watched by viewers. Judge Judy Shandlin expressed her sentiments on the renewal, stating, How shall I describe my feelings about the renewal of Judy Justice on Amazon Freebie? Gratifying, certainly. Grateful, of course. She emphasized her commitment to delivering old-fashioned justice with an even hand, coupled with a touch of humor, for as long as she's able. In an exciting development, Sheindlin is set to expand her collaboration with Amazon Freebie. The announcement includes a new docuseries titled Justice on Trial, where Sheindlin will be featured. Speaking about the docuseries, she remarked, Justice on Trial explores, through reenactment, some of the most famous and infamous cases in this country and their impact on every American. There has never been a program like it. It is smart and compelling TV. Justice on Trial promises a deep dive into the American justice system, utilizing actual testimony and reenactments derived from real-life court transcripts. The series aims to cover a range of topics, from Supreme Court rulings to the contentious debates that echo within the courtroom, providing viewers with an insightful and engaging exploration of the legal landscape. And that wraps up our content for now. We trust you found the video as enjoyable to watch as it was for us to create. Be sure to subscribe for more content similar to this. Don't miss out. Activate notifications to stay informed about our latest uploads. Wishing you a fantastic time, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.